Welcome back to another day here in Porta Plata. We're in the Cabarete area, but we're not actually, well, officially in Cabarete. We're in an area called Encuentro. Yeah, so it's just about maybe 10 minutes outside of Cabarete. Very, very unique vibe here. We've yeah. never filmed here before. We've been here a few times, but never actually done a video. So we thought it was time to show you this very unique area. So throughout the course of this video, we're gonna go into all the ways that this area is really unique. But one thing you're probably gonna notice is these amazing trees. It's not palm trees around here. There are palm trees, but this whole area right here I don't even know what types of trees they are, but they just like jut out of the sand. They're big. They're probably relatively old. It's really, really neat. The other thing that's really neat about this place is we're, well, we're right by a very beautiful beach. <laughs> there's no yeah, shortage of beaches. It's windy as soon as you walk right down, uh, right onto the beach, but there's actually a lot of surfers here, which also makes it very, very unique. You don't, you, once in a while you'll see a surfer on Cabarete Beach, but in general, this is where all the surfers are. It's funny because normally there's a lot of people down here surfing, but today there's not as many and it's Saturday, so it's kind of odd, but I think what it might be is the waves. I don't think the waves are as big as they normally are. All right, who's gonna try it first, you or me? Definitely you. <laughs> this guy used to uh, skateboard back in the day when in his uh, much, much, much younger years. Me, I just have terrible balance, so I think I would be the worst surfer ever. It would be embarrassing. <laughs> Don't hold your breath there. I'm not about to go jump on a surfboard for the very first time and go into that ocean. We have a lot of exploring to do. And if you're new around here, it's Trevor. You already saw Anna. We're the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit subscribe to follow along on our adventures. And also, if you guys can just do us a great big favor, hit the like button. That really helps us out. I will even stop talking here and let you guys hit the like button right now. Did you do it? You did. So once you get off the beach, you're going to discover all these cute little beach shacks. There are, of course, surf schools and surfboard rentals. There's a couple of boutiques, I believe, and of course, a couple of cafes that you can eat at. I feel like this probably has the vibe that Tulum had, I don't even know how long ago, 20 or 30 years ago. We discovered Tulum maybe seven or eight years ago, and it was starting to get busy, but we've heard in the last couple of years, it's just full of people. So speaking of cafes and Tulum, check this place out. The vibe here is awesome. You can see surfboards around. There's really cool seating areas and you just order right here from this shack. And look at what we got. This is a smoothie bowl. Hmm. It's been a while since we've seen some smoothie bowls around. Usually you find these in Bali and we're not in Bali. We're in the Dominican Republic. So if you're wondering, the name of this place is called Pura Vida. As Trevor already said, we each got a beautiful looking smoothie bowl. I love a smooth, good smoothie bowl. Also got a juice here. So normally you might recall that we usually get chinola juice, which is passion fruit juice. It's so unbelievably good here. But went for something a little bit different today, a strawberry lemonade with just a little bit of sugar. Let's taste it. Oh, that is so good. So refreshing. It's a really, really hot day. You can probably see I'm sweating. It's nice and cold day. I definitely mixed a lot of ice in here. It's not too sweet. It's not too sour. Strawberry is nice, but then you get that little hint of lemon as well. Mm. I'm guessing it must taste pretty fresh because it, it took longer to make the juice it than the bowl. It actually did. It did. <laughs> well, let's try this beautiful looking thing. I'm going to mess it up. In here, there's mango, some raspberry, there's granola, there's banana. You can also see some seeds. And usually these are nice and cold, if that makes sense. So let's, let's go for it. I'm going to try to get a bit of everything. Let's try it. Oh, that's just perfection in a bowl. I just love smoothie bowls. I think my favorite part about them is the different textures that you get. There's some crunch in there. There's some yogurt in there. It's nice and creamy. It's just it's so many flavors all mixed into one. You can see a little chunk of banana. I didn't get that on the first bite. Mm. Everything just tastes so incredibly fresh. I know we raved about this before, but the fruit here in the Dominican Republic, you just can't beat it. It's always one of our favorite things to get when we're out, especially when we're in a beautiful location like this. Like this is just amazing here. I don't know why we haven't come to this area more often. It's only about a 10 minute drive away from Cabarete. We made our way back to the beach here and I can't believe how quiet it is. You can see there's almost no one here. In fact, I don't see anyone at all. We heard there's a path we can walk for about 20 minutes to get to another cool area. See Anna back here, I think she's, uh, well, it looks like you're taking some photos over here, huh? This is a super cool spot. There's all these like, I don't even know what to call them, old boulders of some sort, maybe from a building or something, but the water's like 
really shallow and clear right here. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is cool. These were clearly put here to kind of stop the surf break, but it does look like kind of concrete from a building all chopped up. And it's neat because there's a lot of these kind of giant squares here. Before we keep walking up the beach, we just wanted to talk a little bit about this week's sponsor, Audible. So what is Audible? Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you're interested in, wherever you want. You'll find all sorts of audiobooks in all genres from bestsellers to exclusive Audible originals to popular podcasts and more, and you'll find it all in one place. So many of our regular followers will know that I love reading and I love books, and to be honest, I wasn't quite sure how audiobooks could fit into that, and I couldn't really picture reading as an audio experience, but I've recently discovered that audiobooks have their own great benefits. For instance, I have a really hard time reading in a moving vehicle. I actually can't do it at all. And now, with audiobooks, I can actually still experience a book in audio version while we drive, while I'm at the gym or working out, or on those long travel days where we're going through airports and on really long flights. I was really happy to see the huge selection they have on Audible, including all the fiction that I love, but more recently I've been listening to some travel memoirs. I just started Nowhere for Very Long by Brianna Madia, who also narrates the audiobook and the memoir of traveling across the deserts of the American West in an orange van named Bertha. But of course, everyone has their own taste and they have a genre for everyone from bestsellers and new releases, you'll find mysteries and thrillers, motivation, of course travel, and so much more. And even better, they have exclusive Audible originals from top celebrities, experts, and exciting new voices in audio. Plus, the selection is always growing, and with a membership, you can listen to as much as you want, when you want. And as an Audible member, you get to choose one title a month to keep from the entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. New members can try Audible free for 30 days. Just go to audible.com slash Delightful Travelers or text Delightful Travelers to 500, 500 Of course, a huge thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like us. Now, back to the beach. It just boggles my mind that we are here walking empty beaches. Now, we're in the north coast. The area, this area is called Encuentro, but it's in the Porta Plata province. And I don't think you could ever get this in Punta Cana, right? can't even imagine. There's like literally nobody in front of us. Nope. And nobody behind us. We have this entire beach to ourselves. <laughs> we heard there's something pretty cool at the end of this walk. We're on a 20 minute walk to find another kind of cool looking area. And so we're gonna see what that's about. But the whole way so far is just empty beaches like Gorgeous. this. Empty beautiful beaches. So we had to take a little detour here from the beach because there's a path. It's the only way you can get around. You can see kind of this old abandoned building there just like look at that look at the view it has wow there's a lot of uh, coconuts here huh yeah, i just noticed that ton of coconuts on the ground we probably shouldn't be walking under these <laughs> trees because they're probably not very well looked after i don't imagine anybody goes up there and gets the uh, coconuts that are ready to fall <laughs> on our heads it's so interesting how the i guess terrain of this beach keeps changing as we walk even like a few not even kilometers a few minutes basically we went from that lagoon to like kind of a normal but beautiful looking beach and now we have like these I don't even know what to call it. Very jagged rocks. Rocks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to say cliffs, but of course, little mini, tiny, tiny cliffs. <laughs> little mini cliffs, but the cool part is right over here, you can see like the ocean just crashing up against this. So I imagine when it's high tide, these must hit pretty hard. Yeah, or they might even be covered up when it's high tide. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're now off the beach again to another path just to get around those rocks. And this one is really cool. It's like we're in a very lush forest with a carved out path made of sand. And again, all these trees are coming in like an upside down V giving you all this shade is super cool. Oh wow, look at this. It's, it almost looks like a tree house like here on the edge of a little cliff. Right, remember earlier in the video when we said that this place gives us Tulum vibes? Well, look at this. This looks like it literally smacked right out of Tulum and plopped right here. Well, this place just screams Tulum. We had no idea this was here. You can see some pools around and it's very jungly and here we're right next to the ocean. There's also a little bar area. It's maybe the cutest bar I've ever seen where you can get any kind of drink you want. We went for a Modelo and the name of the place we're at, there's kind of two places down here. I don't know the name of the other one, but I know Natura Cabana. You might be able to see the sign behind me. That is, it's like a hotel. There's I have a restaurant here as well. It's a pretty cool place, but yeah, this beer is going to do the trick while we're just looking at the ocean. This view is incredible. 
And yes, in two videos in a row, we are drinking Mexican beer. I'm sorry, in the last video, I think we were having Corona. This time seems a little bit more appropriate because we are comparing things to Tulum. So if we were in Tulum, we would be drinking and Modelo. They did not have any Dominican beer over there. Yeah, it's very, it, I think uh, the Presidente people like run out of beer every once in a while because they seem to have shortages here and there. Anyway, we wanted to talk a little bit about low season here because you might be wondering, and I know we've talked about how there are very few people here right now and you've probably seen only a few other people in this actual video. It is low season as we film it. I think this area is normally pretty quiet even in high season, but uh, Cabarete and Dominican Republic right now is so quiet. It's like having it back to ourselves when we first got here in October, November, we felt like we had it to ourselves and then it got busy again and now it's, it's ours again. We only have a limited amount of time left here in the Dominican Republic. We're gonna be really sad to leave. I mean, really sad to leave. We have, I think, a couple more episodes coming up. Don't hold us to that because we're get, it's getting really tight. For us, we have, I think, about a week or something like that, give or take, so, oh man, I'm gonna miss this place. I mean, even this walk today, is just a great reminder of why we fell in love with this country like that walk is incredible here's where we're at now with more to come in the video we're going well somewhere pretty cool after this but yeah we're gonna miss this place but something we are excited about is when we eventually well, we're going to one more country when we leave here that you guys are gonna find out soon you're gonna have to wait for the video after that we're going back home to Canada and finally we're gonna reunite with well family and of course our tiny house so if you don't know we bought a tiny house last year and now we're moving it we think we got that figured out but if you guys want to book it we'll put a link down in the description below because i know a lot of you will have inquired and, and asked if it's available so it is so we'll put the link below if you want to stay at our tiny house and that is in cape breton nova scotia specifically it's going to be a blue bayou resort it's an absolutely beautiful area there Next up, we decided to come over to a very hip, very trendy place here called Encuentro Food Truck Park. This place is really unique for the area. It's midday, so there's not a lot of people here right now. In fact, some of the food trucks aren't even open. But we decided to come anyway because we're feeling snacky. And look what we got to correct our previous Cerveza beers. We found an actual Presidente. So we're going to have that along with these beautiful looking tacos that we just ordered. Look at those guys. So we got some chicken and some fish tacos. I am going to go for the chicken here. You can see it's got some cilantro on there. Some sort of green sauce, probably maybe a cilantro -y sauce as well. Onions, some tomatoes, I think there's some lettuce. One thing I'm kind of sad about is that there was a note saying that they can't get any flour tortilla, or any, sorry, corn, corn tortillas. So it's on a flour tortilla. I love a good corn tortilla, so I'm a little bit disappointed, but I'm sure it'll still be delicious. I also added some hot sauce to make it spicy. You can hear the uh, cars. We're right on the side of the main highway here, and you can kind of mm. hear them ripping by. But more importantly, how mm. is that? Wow. That is so supremely delicious. I'm not sad about the uh, flour tortilla at all because this is so good. Chicken, nice and tender. I'm not sure if it's fried or not. I thought maybe it might be, but it doesn't look like it. All the cilantro -y flavor going on is amazing. As you guys probably know, we are both team cilantro. I love cilantro. That green sauce on there has a nice little zing to it. it adds tons of flavor. This is one really, really delicious taco. All right, the taco I went for is a Baja fish. So the minute I got over there to even kind of look at the menu, they said right away, like right away, you have to get the Baja fish. So, well, I have to take them up on that. If they're saying it's that good, it probably means it's fresh. And well, it is that good. So let's give it a try. It looks like it's dressed just for the record. Like if the toppings are the same as the chicken taco that Anna just tried. So here we go. <laughs> the flavors going on in this little tiny taco are out of this world. First of all, the fish is very fresh. So I'm glad I took her up on that recommendation. But can we just talk about this creamy, creamy sauce? How do they make such flavor? <laughs> it just kind of comes right at you right away. It's one of the first things you notice. So good. The, the tortilla as well. We were disappointed when we saw the no, no corn tortillas. We're just such big fans. But I agree with Anna. It doesn't need a corn tortilla. Flour tortilla is going to do. I'm glad we stopped in here because we haven't even been here in a very long time. And now this is a good reminder that every time we come back here to Cabarete, we're going to have to come here to the Encuentro Food Truck Park. We're now back at our place here and we were just talking about how great of a day this was. I mean, this was something we don't normally go to in Quentro and just kind of walk that beach walk and it's such a cool thing to do. Huh? Yeah, it was a really fun day. 
it was fun seeing the surfers. I wish mm. there were more surfers. It just must have been a bad day yeah. for it. But we've heard there's usually a lot of people there. Mm -hmm. Fun little beach shacks, going for a walk, and then going to that other part, and then of course the food truck park. It's a really <laughs> neat area. We hope some of you are watching that even know Cabarete in general, and here in Porto Pro uh, Porto Plata province, that you you saw this video and you're like, whoa, I didn't know that was there because mm -hmm. there's a lot of cool stuff. I mean, how about the food truck park? Like, mm -hmm. that's an incredible yeah, it's like place. Like a very as well. up and coming kind of trendy area. We've actually met a lot of people that live over in that area and mm -hmm. there's some neat condos and that kind of thing but for us it's like there's at the moment not enough stuff yeah. for us to live there yeah like amenities too far. amenities yeah. yeah there's not enough a little like, too far from town. you need a car pretty much to do anything yeah. there mm -hmm. depending where you live but for the most part and we normally don't like that so but we do encourage you guys to check that place out if you get the chance and if you are thinking about visiting the Dominican Republic, hopefully some of you are watching that are looking at Punta Cana videos and maybe this is all changing your mind because the North Coast is where it's at mm -hmm. in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. So a couple of quick other things or maybe just one quick other thing. We are starting to be a little more active on Facebook. We're just kind of having fun with it. It's kind of snappy content mm -hmm. and uh, we never really tell you guys about it and we want to because we know some of you might come over and maybe follow our page. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're working on trying to grow that page, uh, get more followers, so yeah. we'd love it. Head over there. <laughs> You'll see some of the older videos, but we're just kind of making short versions and just- uh, yeah, Not don't... to confuse you of where we are at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, YouTube will always be our main jam, don't worry. And this is where to follow us, you know, in real time, I guess. The videos are, YouTube is our main thing. That's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. But Facebook, we're just having fun with. Mm -hmm. but that all said, great day. We still have at least one and maybe two videos here left in the Dominican Republic. And then yeah. off we go. Off we go to a new place. We kind of teased that in the last video. So if you want a couple little hints, go back and watch that. <laughs> yeah, guys. So thank you all for tuning in. Trevor, Anna, Delightful Travelers, if you're new around here. If you're not new, it's nice to see each and every one of you again. All right, guys. That's it. From Porta Plata or Cabarete, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.